Welcome to part two of the Maria project. And I've added some Portuguese captions in for our Brazilian friends that like to watch this kind of thing. Let's have a look under here. Now I know this bit's pretty bad already. So I can remember it being pretty bad. Spare tire in there, I can feel. Somebody's somebody's been in there before. And been a bit of bodging. So there's that. And then there's sort of just general stuff. There's surface stuff. So these ones are the ones that the internal threads in the towing bit. Look at that bit. It's like the rear panel. I guess, yeah, it goes around there. Through that on the other side of that chassis. And that's all okay. So we get to here. Oh, yeah, get out. The whole thing just fell off. Bodged up before. Not sure what that is, but it's a mess. So, major bodgery. This this here is the the rear bumper tailgate bit that drops down, and then that drops and sits on that underneath. A bit Range Rover esque. Not as bad as I thought. Actually. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty bad, but it says that. Not structural. Let's have a look at the other side. It's a better view of that rear panel. member at the back just there and then we're looking at some funky stuff going on up there lovely plastic trim pieces on. Can you imagine? What's 
going on under there? Solid there. Not so much there. Generally, If we just get a little bit underneath. To the floor. We're through. again so all of this here Doesn't look so good up there, though, does it? Shimmy up a bit. So on the coupe, you should go and watch that video of me doing the same thing. We've got problems here under this same sealant, which on this, it looks all right. Using all that sealant. Generally, look at this. That's got to be some kind of filler or something in there. Some wires, perhaps. So this is the next bit of pokery we're going to do. Really, really, it's been jacked up. Still alive. Oh yeah. <laughs> I 
That's filler. We have filler. It's hard stuff though. <laughs> so he had all this welded up for its MOT. That's the strangest kind of weld I've ever seen. What kind of welding wire is this? Magic. Magic welding. So, I did speak to the MOT actually. CV boot it had been completely, it wasn't even there, there was no offside CV boot. The joint was absolutely destroyed. And this was only like six weeks, four, four to six weeks after it had been MOT'd. And it failed it on this floor. And it failed it on a suspension arm ball joint. And this is his welding. That's nice. That's my favourite bit. <laughs> the guy said he had all the seats out and everything. He had all the seats out to sculpt. Sculpt a new in interior floor pan out of filler. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. That's it. This is the there is the that's the floor coming off there. Look at the floor go. Wow. You see the whole thing. The whole thing moving. Some more weld. JB weld. Oh, it's everywhere. It's all over. Amazing. Well, I mean, that's my favourite. I mean, if ever there was a, a story of trucks going past, a cautionary tale about jacking your car up on the sills, there it is. It's at the very front of the sill, which we, we've got these parts that we recognise from the coupe. We've, uh, yeah, the guy's done the whole thing in body filler. I mean, that there too. All the way around.
probably not the entire length of the cell. Definitely this front section and the rear section. I was also worried about up in there too. I've had this subframe dropped down before. Pipes are a bit of slack. Maybe the other side. Look at that, the other side. Looking at the mark would be remarkably like this side. Tires literally just let go when I drove it forward. It's only a space saver. I think probably the one in the boot. What would JBT do? Coupe 20 valve turbo integral in there. So the other side is just a repeat of the driver's side pretty much. There's no point going into all that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future Marea content.